All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of these Nestle drumsticks. All right, so this variety pack, vanilla fudge, vanilla caramel, and vanilla. All right, normal price of this, $10.99. It was $3 off, so that's basically, what, $8? So 50 cents a cone. All right, let's take a closer look. America's favorite since 1928. No artificial flavors or colors. All right, added colors and flavorings from natural sources. So... If that's what you mean by no artificial, everything is artificial because it's artificially added, but it's from a natural ingredients, which everything came from nature because we just messed with it to make it a certain way. So doesn't that make everything natural ingredients? <laughs> All right. Anyways, 16, 4.6 fluid ounces, 136 milliliters, frozen dairy dessert uh, cones, net 73.6 fluid ounces, 2.176 liters. All right. We'll see the nutrition facts later. We got the same stuff here. There's the Best Buy information here. Best Buy, 31st of May, 2025. So this was purchased end of uh, August, 2024. So what's that? August, September, October, November, December. That's uh, nine months, right? Okay. Anyways, you got the same information all around. You can hear them all rolling around in there. Okay, here you go. Rich chocolatey lining, so that helps prevent it from getting all stale. Delicious and creamy. Toasted with roasted peanuts, so if you're allergic to peanuts, then obviously don't eat that. Chocolatey nugget, crispy sugar cone. There you go. Okay, here are the nutri nutrition facts for each one. Okay, 16 servings per container, one drumstick per serving. For the vanilla, there's 290 calories, 16 grams of fat, 21%, 9 grams saturated fat, 45%, 85 milligrams sodium, 4%, 34 grams carbs, 12%, 1 gram fiber, 4%, 21 grams sugar, which includes 17 grams added sugar, 34%, 4 grams of protein, 60 milligrams of calcium, 4%, 0 0.8 milligrams iron, 4%, and 190 milligrams of potassium, 4%. The vanilla caramel has 310 calories, 21, uh, sorry, 16%, 16 grams of fat, 21%, 9 grams, um, 9 grams saturated fat, 45%, less than 5 milligrams cholesterol, 1%, 105 milligrams sodium, 5%, 38 grams of carbs, 14%, 1 gram fiber, 4%, 24 grams of sugar, which includes 20 grams added sugars, 40%. Uh, 4 grams of protein, 60 milligrams of calcium, 4%, 0 0.8 milligrams iron, 4%, and 190 milligrams potassium, 4%. Vanilla fudge, 310 calories, 21, sorry, 16 grams of fat, 21%, 9 grams saturated fat, 45%, less than 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 1%, 85 milligrams of sodium, 4%, 37 grams of carbs, 13%, 2 grams of fiber, 7%, 23 grams of sugars, which includes 19 grams add sugar, 38%, 5 grams of protein, 60 milligrams of calcium, 4%, 0 0.9 milligrams iron, 6%, and 210 milligrams um, of potassium, 4%. All right, here you go. Vanilla drumstick ingredients are skim milk, sugar, peanuts, coconut oil, whey, corn syrup, bleached wheat, flour, palm oil, cocoa, palm olein, uh, soy, lecithin, soybean oil, cream, guar gum, monoglycerides, milk, salt, natural flavor, carb bean gum, and anato for color. Um, I don't remember if that's some plant or some bug or whatever, but yeah, I think that usually makes stuff like orangey. Contains milk, wheat, peanuts, and soy ingredients, so if you're allergic, then stay away from this, all right? Vanilla caramel drumstick ingredients are skim milk, sugar, corn syrup, peanuts, co uh, coconut oil, bleached wheat flour, whey, palm oil, cocoa, milk, palm olein, soy lecithin, soybean oil, cream, guar gum, monoglyceride, salt, pectin, carob bean gum, natural flavor, baking soda, and anato for color again. Contains milk, wheat, peanut, and soy ingredients. And then the vanilla fudge drumstick ingredients are skim milk, sugar, corn syrup, peanuts, coconut oil, bleached wheat, flour, whey, palm oil, cocoa, palm olein, cream. Uh, cocoa processed with alkali, soy lecithin, soybean oil, guar gum, monoglycerides, chocolate, milk, modified tapioca starch, salt, natural flavor, carabine gum, potassium sorbate, sodium alginate, and anato for color. It contains milk, wheat, peanut, and soy ingredients. Again, if you're allergic, then yeah, you might want to stay away. Distributed by Dryer's Grand Ice Cream Incorporated in Oakland. Keep frozen until served. Important young children less than four years have limited chewing ability and could choke on small pieces. All right. So yeah, for greatest enjoyment, eat within one month of purchase, keep cones at a constant temperature of negative five degrees Fahrenheit or colder. 
right? Nestle trademarks, all that stuff, whatever. And yeah, let's go ahead and open it and then give it a try. So the box, you can open it however you want. You can open it from the sides or you can open both sides and then open the top. All right, so I'm gonna open both sides here. Oh, maybe not. The side is kind of stuck on there really strong. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then we got the last flap here. Okay, so there we go. This is what it looks like. You got the vanilla one, it's blue. Okay, and they are labeled for individual resale. So if you have a shop and you want to put these in your store, and if you have like one of those little freezers, go for it. They have all the information there. Okay, UPC code. They have the nutrition packs. Here's the caramel one. Okay, has this orangey yellow color. All right, I always wonder why they need to add dyes into foods. What? Why don't they just make a non-dye version instead of wasting extra money on dyes for no reason? Just are people really gonna buy it less if it's less yellowy, less orangey, less? I don't know. But you can see the vanilla fudge one. Okay, UPC code, all of that. All right. Does it really affect people's purchasing decision that much? Just the color? Like if these cones were more white, would you would you not buy it? I don't know. Is that is that what's going on? <laughs> Alright, so here's the vanilla. I like to open it at the spot where the cone is the small part. So that way when you pull it out, the peanuts stay at the bottom of the bag and don't just spill everywhere. So you can see all the peanuts in there. Okay. Obviously if you like to eat the crumbled peanuts, you just pour them into your mouth. Alright, so here's the vanilla. The chocolate kind of crumbles, so usually I'll kind of like try and get all the peanuts out first. Because <laughs> otherwise they start falling everywhere. If you're eating it outside, it's fine, but if you're eating it indoors, you're going to end up with crumbled chocolate and peanuts everywhere. See? Mm -hmm. Very peanutty. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Now, depending how allergic you are to peanuts, I wonder if you can just chop the top off and then eat it. If you're not super allergic, maybe you can do that. <laughs> I don't know. You know your tolerance level. If you think it's worth it to give it a try, go for it. I don't think there's peanuts anywhere else, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Ice cream is nice and creamy. Chocolate is nice and flaky. Mm -hmm. Cone is nice and crispy. Hmm. Mm hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, we got two more cones coming. If you want to just skip ahead, you can. <laughs> but, I'm going to be reviewing all three, eating them all. You can see the chocolate coating that they were talking about that protects the cone from getting all soggy. See the bottom has a lot of chocolate in it. It's like about all the way up to there, maybe. Okay. And the cone is nice, crispy, and sweet. These are my favorite kind of cones. Um, the sugar cones. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we'll go for the fudge. Right. Same thing, you get a bunch of peanuts down there. Okay. Mm 
Okay, and you got some peanuts falling on the side. Okay. Looks a little bit different in shape, but pretty much same idea, same thing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they should make a peanut free version because some people don't even like the taste of peanuts. So I don't know why they don't have a peanut peanutless option. I think they did at some point, but it's hard to find those. Okay, you can see we chewed all the peanuts off and there's still no fudge yet. Or maybe that's the fudge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far it's exactly the same as the vanilla one. The fudge just blends with this, so I can't even tell. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that all the fudge that's in there, that little dot? Is it gone after I bite that? No. Okay, so it's going deeper down into the cone. Hmm. I don't know if it's because my freezer, I have an outside freezer, it freezes a lot colder. The fudge is hard. Like, it's almost like a soft Tootsie Roll in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hmm. Looks like the fudge goes all the way down. Wow. I didn't know the fudge went all the way down. Is that new? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. All right. Last one here. Vanilla with caramel. Okay. Right, again, all the peanuts down there. All right. Hmm. Why is the ice cream much softer on this one? Did it have time to melt? I don't know. Mm. There you go. Uh -oh. See what I mean? You'll end up with chocolate and peanuts all over your house. <laughs> <clears throat> so make sure you eat over like a table or a dish so far barely any caramel showing up what what is this look at that image Where's that big ball? Did I just eat it? Did it get yanked out? Hmm. 
Hmm. Where? What? Hmm. What is going on here? I mean, it tastes slightly different. <laughs> what? That's a first. I've never seen one do that before. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's some more caramel. Maybe it was in there and I just didn't see it. But, yeah. It tastes good. There we go. Hmm. So it's good. Mm hmm. Definitely recommend it. Give it a try. I like how the cones are very nice and crispy. Um,. There is a brand I've tried before, I think at Safeway. Instead of peanuts, they put some kind of crispy, crunchy stuff. That one was super good. If you don't like peanuts, go look for that. Give it a try. There are different types of drumsticks by off brands, other brands. Um, but these are good. If you like peanuts and stuff, crushed peanuts on the ice cream, definitely give it a try. There's caramel actually all the way in the chocolate at the bottom. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.